Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Eddie's Toy Box and today we're going to be reviewing Pop Movies Sex bob 3 pack from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. It is a 2016 summer convention exclusive or otherwise known as a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. It is a shared exclusive from San Diego Comic Con and that's why it has this summer convention sticker on it. I was able to purchase this at FYE for your entertainment. Now while it wasn't available the day of San Diego Comic Con, it was available today so we got it. So um... Let's start with uh, Launchpad McQuack. Ah, you. I've got a helper today. And he says Launchpad McQuack is not the official title of the song. For you, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World fans out there. So, here's the box. You can see it houses three pops. The three that are in there. There's the three cons of dark. Age 14 and up. Side of the box just shows you the fakes on the bottom. But to the back, you get Scott Pilgrim. Stephen Stills and Kim Pine. And then you can see they have other variations coming out too. So you've got a regular Scott Pilgrim, Ramona Flowers, and Knives Chow. And then you've got Sex Bomb on the bottom. Now there is a rumor out there that they'll release these three by themselves at some point. I don't know how true that is. Just because if they were going to do that, then... um. You would see uh, on the sticker, or the, at least the sticker that is at San Diego Comic-Con, it would say first to market exclusive. It would be like the Powerpuff Girls. The Powerpuff Girls were released at San Diego Comic-Con as well as Hot Topic, and their sticker says it's first to market on them. And that means that the Powerpuff Girls will in fact be released by themselves at a later time, or be re-released without the sticker kind of like batman versus superman the double pack of last year it didn't say you know first to market but you know he kind of you kind of knew so i don't know if these are going to be released by themselves if if they are you know cool if not then this would be the only way to get them and i would recommend checking fyes as soon as possible so sex bob is the band that scott pilgrim is in in scott pilgrim versus the world it's become kind of like a cult classic movie that's grown over time. I think it came out in 2010, and I think that I may have seen it in 2011, and I haven't really seen it since. But a lot of people really love it, and um, I can appreciate that. So we've got three pops here. Now we'll start with her. Um, she's got a base, um, a clear base, obviously, um, because I'm holding it. But I'm having a real tough time having her pegs actually stay inside of her feet to keep her on said base. Um, and I don't know if it's... I know it's not that I'm not lining it up right because it is lining it up right. It just she has a hard time staying on the bass. So she's the drummer in the band. You can see she's got these little freckles here. The hair mold is like fantastic. See, it's not going to stay on the bass. The hair mold is fantastic. I love the bangs here. I love the the orange all the way around. As far as the, the, the pose goes, I think they really nailed that as well. You can see that her hand is out here. So she's got his, her arms crossed. I love the fact that she's holding the drumsticks there. And not a lot of paint issues. You would think that a lot of the green from the car, her um, shirt would go on it, but it doesn't. You can see that she's kind of been given like the skirt dress here all the way around. And, like obviously she's got some kind of like nylons on because I don't think that this is supposed to be flesh paint, but because it would match her face. You can see her little heels here, which is pretty cool. And again, the main issue I have with this one is that her base, either the pegs aren't big enough or something is really off you know, to keep, you know, it on her feet. And then we've got Steven here. You can see we, we're, we're finally given more pops holding, you know, instruments, which is pretty cool. I love the details that are on the guitar here. Um, and then I had to really check a lot of them because the paint on some of them were pretty bad. You can see the guitar strings is pretty cool. The silver, it's kind of like a metallic going across. I love that he has his hand posed on it. You can see that he's wearing, you know, the outfit that he wears in the movie so he's got like this brown undershirt here you can see the pockets the buttons i'm giving metallic paint as well just regular blue jeans all the way around the paint is not that bad either like when you pose them like this kind of like they're almost like like it reminds me of johnny cash for some reason and that'd be pretty cool if we got a johnny cash pop i love the details on the the head here kind of looks like a generic head that they could use for essentially anybody but it works for this you can see you know the beard and you got a thicker like mustache paint here which is pretty cool hair up at an angle like a wave to the top all the way around it's matted here and that's pretty cool and then we'll go to scott pilgrim himself you know michael Sarah, right um i love the guitar on him um 
So you can see again the guitar string, the, the the guitar strings all the way across here is pretty cool. I love the little details on the guitar too. You can see all the turn the knob the the knobs here. One hand on it, you can see he's got the the green and the white you know sweatbands on. Green shirt, which is pretty cool. I love the sneakers on him the most. You can see like got the green streaks all the way around. Not many paint flaws on him either. I think they did a good job capturing his likeness in, in the pop, you know, because that's what makes these things so cool. Um, so you can see it all the way around here, the hair, all, you know, it's kind of looks like it's got that curly look all the way around, you know, right here is pretty awesome as well. The hair, they did a great job. Um, and for some reason, people are going crazy over these three. What do you guys at home think? Let us know in the comments below. You a big fan of Sex Bob Bomb? What's your favorite song? Launchpad McQuack? Is that your favorite song by the Sex Bob Bomb? It's not it's not it's not the official name of the song. So there you go. And if you like the video, give us a like. Oh, and by the way, this retails at forty dollars. So if you find one and they say forty dollars, don't be shocked. That's how much it retails for. And and you know, hey, it is what it is. But if you like the video, give us a like, comment on it down below, subscribe for more, follow us on Instagram at ESPJ underscore figs. We post daily pop pictures. Look for us on Twitter and Facebook at Eddie Storybox, same exact name. Join us on Facebook, popping off about Funko. Look for my calm Thursdays, popfinals.com. Be kind to one another. Have a great day and free the sex bomb or free the pops. We'll see you around. <laughs>